Hello, I'm Nicolette Grant and this is your DT3. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services might want to take a dive into these rivers because 12 water districts across California are about to sue them for not being able to take care of the Santa Ana suckerfish, which resides in the water behind me. Congress has voted and has denied Orange County police officers the opportunity to retire at the age of 50 with 90% of their salary guaranteed. Today's an up-to-date report on what's going on in the Middle East is just one trip to your local gas station away. As much as we would like to believe, many students in high school still feel gated out from the rest of the community. Today is the 15th annual Day of Silence, where many students will go in protest. It's just past midnight and over 100 students are lining the halls of Langsdorf Hall in protest of President Gordon's refusal to sign the Declaration to Defend Public Education, which was composed by students here at Cal State Fullerton. We're waiting here for him. We're sitting and we're waiting here for him to come to the table and work with us to draft a declaration that we can all agree to and that we'll all sign on to. All night long, Cal State Fullerton students came together to sing, study, and even some dare to try to sleep as supporters from over 10 campuses trickled in to join the fight. You all have done like the, um, your declaration for public education. That's, that's basically the foundation that we need all um, students, staff, faculty, and administrators to support. We're here to support these students because their call for simple justice is righteous. And we can help the people of California if we're given the resources that's what these students are asking for. But signing the declaration is only a part of what, we're, what we really need. What we really need is this type of unity. The people united will never be divided. The people united will never be divided. Like the tree mile is just gone. Like every like homes and like people like like it's just and everything is just gone. A 9.0 earthquake created a tsunami which engulfed cities and towns in the northeast side of Japan. With a climbing death toll of 10,000, Cal State Fullerton international students from Japan felt the calling to raise donations for their ravaged homeland through hugs for donations. I'm pretty surprised that American people, like, even they don't have cash right now, they explain to me, right? And then they're going to ask me, like, you guys going to be here tomorrow so I can come by tomorrow later on? And then I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. It's not in America, it's outside the country, so, you know, they kind of barely know about this situation. But, you know, they, well, some of them just giving out information without any, we don't say anything, they just come to get, you know, give us the money. Um, it's been pretty tough because like, just thinking about how big of a catastrophe it was, you know, it was kind of hard for us over here being kind of blessed that that didn't happen to us. But obviously I've been looking at like the American Cross and trying to see where I could donate. Like today, they, I know they were having some of the Angel Stadium, so I was going to take some clothes later on. But it's 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 pretty pretty bad. Like it kind of scares me, you know, like, possibly the tsunami warning for us that day too. So. Behind me is the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Plant which is located just one hour down the 5 freeway from Cal State Fullerton. It is one of the 104 non-military nuclear reactors within the United States. Due to this reactor being located near a fault line as well as the Pacific Ocean, many people feel that they have cause for concern. However, this reactor is a second generation reactor, which means that it is built to be able to withstand a 7.0 earthquake as well as 25 foot waves, which scientists estimate would be the greatest impact that we would see in Southern California. While we still remain safe, Yumi Inagaki, an international exchange student from Japan, still waits to hear from her family and friends about their safety. Yeah, they're okay, but I, like honestly, I cannot say they're okay because, you know, many people are still missing and then dead and then watching TV news make me cry all the time and I still can't believe it. It's like watching news, it seems like I'm watching like a movie. can't believe it, seriously. Yeah. That's all for today. I'm Nicolette Grant and this is your DT in 3.
keep it toughy.